Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. My name is Charmaine Marie. I am your trauma recovery coach. Today, I want to talk about the sexual narcissist, right? Because a sexual narcissist, they actually may run or rush, I meant, into sexual intimacy, okay? And they even go to great lengths in the first sexual encounters to actually prioritize their partner's pleasure, okay? So now, while the narcissist's sexual behavior may at first seem romantic and so passionate, okay, eventually it turns one-sided, okay, with a narcissist, all right? A sexual narcissist, that is. However, it turns one-sided, egocentric, okay, unempathetic, transactional, okay, and also, it can be aggressive. So, a sexual narcissist is a person who possesses narcissistic traits, okay, such as entitlement, low empathy, or they feel superior, right? Within a sexual content context, I meant they may manipulate others to fulfill their own physical and sexual needs, okay, and desires, and they may not care for the wishes or even the concerns of other people, okay? Now, while sexual narcissists will go um, to great lengths, okay, to prioritize their own sexual satisfaction, they soon frequently report low sexual satisfaction, okay? And then they want to place the blame for such on their partners, okay? <laughs> you know how that go. But listen to this. They also may judge or criticize their partner's performance or suggest that sex has become boring and needs to change, right? Sexual narcissists also, they prioritize their own sexual satisfaction and needs. They lack empathy for their sexual partners. They expect frequent praise on their sexual performance and they feel entitled to sex when and where they want it, okay? Sexual narcissists also tend to enter into intimate relationships, okay, with charm. They like to charm you. <laughs> they like to give you flattering com uh, comments and compliments, okay? And also, they'll try to give you an abundance of love in the beginning, all right? Ultimately, it's important to remember that narcissists can and do love, but their love may never be the same. It's healthy. Okay, it's not healthy love. All right. And it show ain't unconditional agape love either, y'all. Okay, know the difference. Listen. Now, the best way to know if a narcissist loves you is by looking at their behavior over time rather than just relying on their words. They only use words and they have broken promises about things. They they are just clowns. They are clowns in a circus. These narcissistic uh, beings that are soulless, okay, they're unempathetic. I mean, how are you walking around here on the earth and you ain't got no empathy, no sympathy? You just soulless. You a soulless being. This, it's crazy, y'all, but listen. These people exist, both men and women, okay? Satan has sons, and he also has daughters, okay? So listen, and I hope they all link up with each other and continue to be with one another. Two narcissists, they should be together for a lifetime. <laughs> listen, because they both crazy, all right? Um, and toxic as hell. Listen, <laughs> okay, listen to this, you guys. Um, okay, so, yeah, you got to judge people by their actions, you know what I'm saying? People, that's one thing people don't understand. Love is an action word, you know what I'm saying? When you say you love somebody, you act, okay? You act on that person's behalf. Like, you don't just say you love them and don't do nothing. That don't even make sense. Like, listen, y'all, people don't know what love is, okay? Love is more than just, um words love is action okay <laughs> and if your actions ain't backing up what you talking about then you don't love nobody okay you love them false 
promises that you be making that you can't deliver on. You know what I'm saying? So listen to this. This is we talk about the sexual narcissist. Let's get back to it. So <laughs> sexual narcissism is a pattern of sexual behavior that puts one one's own sexual needs and desires above those of their partner. Okay. It's certainly possible for someone with an attitude of sexual entitlement to also meet the criteria for NPD. Okay. <laughs> Narcissistic personality disorder. All right. So, but listen, the Bible says that in the last days, these people are going to be lovers of them own selves. Okay. They are their God. They have made themselves their God. Okay. This is why these people are soulless. They don't have no empathy. They feel like they entitled. Okay. <laughs> Lord, how mercy. What is going on in the world? This whole world is wicked, y'all. So listen, and I'm just here living in the. Whew. Listen, y'all, I am not from this place. Okay. I'm just keeping it real. And, um, yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about the sexual narcissist, but I'm going to be back because I'm going to talk more about narcissistic relationships, okay? And I have so much information to share, so you guys just stay tuned. Thank you so much for your support uh, while I'm on my spiritual journey, okay? Helping other people heal from past ancestral trauma, also helping you heal your past life karma, okay? And through my story, what I do, I help other people break free from generational curses, help you to pull down strongholds, and helping you to break free from addiction. So you guys, make sure you stay tuned in. Hit the notification bell. Anytime I post a video, you will be notified. And thank you so much. Make sure you comment, share, Okay, let me know what you think about this video here. All right. And have you ever been with a sexual narcissist? Okay, that felt like they were actually entitled. And listen, <laughs> the relationship then became one sided. All right. So, yeah. You guys tune in. I'm going to be back with more of these videos talking about the crazy narcissists, okay? <laughs> Love you guys much.